that was my segment with Chris Agar, who we have live right now on Instagram. He's also live on his YouTube channel at Made on Tape. That's youtube.com slash Made on Tape. Chris, how are you going? Uh, I'm going great, Jonah. Uh, I appreciate everything you do. It's one of the nicest things anyone's done for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure it's uh, not going to be the last. Hmm. Well. That's that's nice of you to say. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's you're such a great storyteller, and just to to take my ramblings, uh, that must have been so hard to edit down. <laughs> it, you know, it, it was surprisingly easy because I thought the story that you told was great, and I also think it's really interesting that you decided to take up tape as a hobby. You know, now, and you even explain it in some of your videos. Yeah, I mean. I've said it during the segment and I'll, and I'll say it a thousand times, you know, we're on screen so much these days that, that I think music is such a big part of being a human. You know, they've found flutes that are 40,000 years old. It's as old as language as far as we know. So it's predates computers by a lot. And I think it's nice to get off of the computer and uh, still be able to record and make cool sounds and get a little bit, uh, get a little bit tribal, you know? Yeah, and you know, I, I wanted to ask you, uh, as far as you know, your recording methods go now, how do you think your mindset has changed when you go into recording on tape versus into Pro Tools? Well, it's honestly, it's helped my ears even more uh, hear uh, and know how to sh shape sounds on the way in. And uh, since I'm lazy, even when I'm recording in a DAW, I want to nail it, you know, the sounds on the way in. And, uh, and that's definitely recording on tape forces you to really hear uh, what's going on overall as you add instruments, you know? Yeah, and you know, what about being limited to four tracks or eight oh. tracks? Yeah, oh, that's, that's the, that limitation is uh, huge. Uh, I think it's huge, um, you know, choice is the enemy of commitment is a common phrase uh, that I like to say. And, and four tracks give you less choice. And even just what I was saying about knowing what the instruments are going to sound like, even on a four track, you know, you, it's common to bounce three instruments and then commit to them all on one track. And when you do that, you're done. You know, you can't remix those. So it's kind of like you're mixing as you go and it really helps your mixing skills uh, as well. And then you can only, yeah, you can overdub a bunch and bounce a bunch, but you're, it's, it starts to degrade in the sound. So you, you don't want to do that a lot on four tracks. Would you ever, you know, bounce to degrade on purpose for the effect? Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? I think uh, probably, you know, for, I would probably do that for instruments that aren't as important to me, like drums and bass are very important to me and I like low end and groove. So I wouldn't really recommend degrading those, but you can, who cares, why not? So I would, I would do that with uh, maybe keyboards, synthesizers, or even the lead vocals would be fun to do that on, why not? Because it just gives it a, uh, a unique distortion that, and quality that you just, is actually, that's actually hard to reproduce. Uh, in a DAW, the bouncing over and over again sound. <laughs> if you had, uh, you know, one thing to say to people who were debating getting a tape machine to experiment on, uh, what would you tell them? What would your advice be on how to get started? Um, so to get started on tape, I said it in the segment, I, I do recommend like picking up a cheap cassette, you know, or a cheap cassette recorder or a dictaphone just to get used to the idea of being off the screen. Like if, if, you, if you play guitar, or play piano, like just set up a dictaphone and, and record yourself singing a song and, and play it back and hear the, the magic of the imperfections of that, that machine it's impart its character onto your character. And it's, it, you know, you'll fall in love, I guarantee it. Well, with that, I really appreciate you coming on, Chris, and I really appreciate you doing the interview with me to, you know, get me that awesome segment. I, uh, I hope we chat soon, and I uh, hope to get some of your cassettes in for the uh, shop here. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting the cassettes uh, sent to you. You got to send me an address. 
<laughs> will do, will do. I appreciate it, Chris. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, everybody. I'm bad at goodbyes. Goodbye. And I don't even know how to turn this off. Great. Thank you.